reminds me of like being a kid and buying my favorite albums, you know, and turning me on to music. The Mavericks take you on a trip down memory lane with the release of their latest album. And good evening, everyone. Welcome to TNN Country News. I'm Leslie Hamer. Deborah Maffitt is away until Monday. Break out your turntables, Mavericks fans. The reigning ACM group of the year is getting nostalgic with their new release. Although the CD won't be in stores for nearly two weeks, collectors can hear the record on vinyl right now. Its release required a hip celebration, so Tom Spachowski takes us to Los Angeles. Like expected fathers, the Mavericks passed out cigars Tuesday night. They celebrated with friends and industry folks at this swanky Hollywood hotel. When the Mavericks release an album, they really mean album. And here it is, folks, music for all occasions. This represents the first time since the 80s a Nashville group has released new product on vinyl. We suggested it to the record company, and they, uh, they ran with it. And, uh, and so, we're, I mean, we're ecstatic about it because we love vinyl. Foolish heart. It all began on vinyl for me. And I, I, Raul and I, that's the one thing we really, really had in common starting the Mavericks is that we had a similar kind of record collection. He had a lot of Elvis. I had a little more Beatles and Buddy Holly, but then we both had Hank and what have you. But all of it was on vinyl. There's something wonderful about, you know, holding this, this package you know, that, that you got to unravel and bring out yeah. this big disc, you know. Reminds me of, like, being a kid and buying my favorite albums, you know. The CD thing, it's kind of sterile in them a little bit, you know. It doesn't give you a lot of visual. I mean, it does, but it's all small. The album is big and splashy, you know. I knew somebody who liked the scratches on their vinyl records because they felt that made it more personal. They knew where their little skips were, and that personal. made it their own record. Some stars picked up their own copies at the L.A. release party. On hand were George Dukas, Kim Ritchie, Jim Lauderdale, and Trisha Yearwood. Everybody, every home should have one. And there are instructions inside that show you how to use your record player, just in case. Maybe you don't know how to use it. Someone shows you how. Isn't that cool? Trisha also likes the cover of the new album a lot better than the front of What a Cry and Shame, which featured the back of her husband, Robert Reynolds. That was my one request. Put my husband's face, because I'd have to always say, he's the one with his back turned to the camera. So there's him. He's very cute. I'm going to have a little trouble playing mine in the car. I have come become quite accustomed to some of the conveniences of a CD, but oh, I, I'm very great. proud of the vinyl. <laughs> I just, I'm wondering if I could get, you know, Elvis's car over there at the Country Music Hall of Fame has a record player. It. It's got a record player. I'm sure Trisha could buy it. <laughs> oh, my God. Ouch. Well, consider yourself very lucky if you find a limited edition vinyl album, which is available in specialty record stores. MCA only pressed 5,000 copies since it was only meant to be a teaser for the CD release. The CD will be the subject of a TNN Country News story on September the 26th.